Hey folks, how's it going? I hope you're all doing really good. We're going to take a look at this one here today. This is a, another little practice amp. I've been demoing a bunch of them here. Uh, this is kind of the bigger one of the bunch. Uh, this is a Fender Frontman 25R. I'm guessing the R stands for red. I could be wrong. Uh, before we get going, I'm going to play this in just about two seconds, but I just plugged it in and tried it. I had to roll the treble knob all the way off. The mid's on about five, and the bass is on about eight, and the reverb is on about one, because anything past that, and it starts to really saturate it. I'm really trying to sell this amp, ain't I, huh? I'm just kidding. I'm just letting you know some of this bad stuff going in. This is what amp demos are about. Now it doesn't sound totally crappy. Let's just listen to it. you can hear that on the camera uh you know i've seen this in smaller fender amps where the like the tone stack is just wrong you know the treble is uh, the treble is completely off right there and you can hear how glassy this is <laughs> thumping up there pretty good. I'll turn it down, but it just gets worse as far as the brittleness. Uh, you know, there's not a lot of options left. Now I want to show you the uh, reverb I was talking about, all right? Okay, so here's no reverb. Let's put it on like one, two. Here we go on two. I can almost deal with that. Let's put it on about four. What are you gonna do with that? Let's dime it just for the fun. fan of this amp. You know, usually I'll I'll point out the good things and the bad. That's what it is. Am I a fan of this one? No. Nope. Thumbs down on this one. I love the look of it. It's cool looking. You know, it reminds me of like a little Blues Junior or something. They should have put a tube amp in there instead of that mess, but that's my honest opinion, and that's what I'm doing the videos for. Don't waste your money on this one, guys. I'm just saying. Unless you liked what you heard, you know, I could probably dial up something I could at least practice with. But other than that, I mean, you almost can't roll away the, the nastiness. Let me roll the tone stack completely off. No bass, no treble, no middle. Now let's see what we got. <laughs> jacks in the back or nothing there is a foot switch and there's an RCA auxiliary in and a headphone jack 
for those of you that care uh, to watch the rest of the video. But the best part of the video is this. I'm getting close to getting monetized. I need a few more subs, guys, so help me out if you would. If you made it this far, please. I'm sorry to put you through that, but I don't want to see you, like, wasting your money on stuff if it's no good, you know? I really don't know what I would do with this other than, I don't know, maybe gut it out and stuff a little tube amp in there or something. Or a different circuit, maybe. Or possibly I may go in there and see if I can figure out the circuit board and maybe change out, you know, the, uh, the treble. Whatever they got going for caps on that. You could change the cap values out and probably make the EQ stack sound better. It's a lot of work for a, not a lot of amp, though, okay? Even... Even in my situation, you know, work, I work on this stuff all the time, so it's really probably not worth even doing. So we'll see. This one might find a new home. Uh, you know, I'll tell the the uh, the buyer, the future buyer, he can watch the video and hear it and hear exactly what I'm telling you guys right now. You know, that's not a really good sales pitch, but. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, it might be. I don't know. I really don't know what I'm going to do with it. All right, guys, that's enough. We're going to end this one right here. Thanks for watching. See you soon.